<clears throat> All right, let's talk about getting the nose cone off. The coupler needs to come off because this has to go back into the nose cone. If this is really corroded up or built up with gunk, use a wire wheel and your drill. Clean this up. Um, and you can scrape it off with your thumb. Just just depends how dirty it is. Get all the nuts off. There's a couple down below. They're going to be hidden underneath a lot of gunk. But once you get it all off, we're going to pull on the nose cone and push on the hockey stick. And sometimes you might I might have hit a hammer here real light just to break the seal. Once you clear the studs, the hockey stick here is trapped inside of this. So you have to go sideways. Just again, just sideways. Then you can get it off. Um, you can see this transmission isn't in neutral. Um, this one's actually corroded and stuck there. But when you go to put this back on, this little tab has to go inside this one because it's shifted. Ideally, it'd be neutral. All three of them would line up. You just put it in there. But to get this back on, I'll put it in the one that's shifted. And then operation, see the, the, whatever, the ends of these keep that stick right in there. So it's not going to fall out. So as soon as I get that in there, then the hockey stick's going to slide out the front as it goes back into place. So that's just kind of how to get your nose cone on off. Um, another quick thing to note, um, there should be a hole up here. If that hole's jammed up, your tranny can't vent. It'll figure out some way to vent. And so that's usually when it starts pushing out from the, um, the axles or um, the CVs. If you got an IRS, um, check out that nose cone vent. Um, a lot of places will drill and tap and put a bigger breather in the nose cone um, so it can actually breathe and stuff. But that's just a short video of how to do your nose cone. Um, I'll keep doing more videos of how to break this down.